Welcome back everyone. You may have an iPhone that has iCloud storage built in. Mostly every single iPhone has this, you know, iCloud storage, which is essentially Apple gives you five gigabytes to actually go ahead and utilize. If you have like 50, you can also buy more like 50 to one terabyte, so much more storage if you want to. So in order to actually clear some storage out, what I would recommend doing, and this is so easy sometimes, is to actually make your way over to your actual iPhone settings. You won't come into that panel, you'll come into this panel like this. The very top section where it shows your name right here, all you want to do is go ahead and click on it just like this. You'll come into this panel. Now here you'll be able to see a bunch of different things, but right here you'll be able to see your you know, iCloud account, but you'll also see how much storage you have left right there. All you have to do is go ahead and click on that little iCloud option and you will come into this panel. Now here is where you can see a breakdown of pretty much all of the storage that's taken up within your iCloud account. You can also get to the same panel if you're on Mac OS or if you're on an iPad as well. It's a little bit of a different process, but iPad is pretty much the same thing. So what you can do here is you can go ahead and monitor and see how much storage is being taken up with what. So you can see for me personally, I still have a bunch of storage left, but right here it shows me photos and you can see I actually do have a little bit of storage you know, left. I still have a little bit of storage taken up with photos. So if I wanted to go ahead and just turn off my photos on iCloud, all you would have to do is go and click on photos, click iCloud photos and turn that off. And it's going to ask me if I want to delete these you know, iCloud photos or save them or whatever. And I can just go ahead and figure it out as I get there. But in this case, it's turning it off. And at this point, it should go ahead and delete once I delete those photos. But typically, you don't have to do that if you want to keep them on your iCloud drive. But if you want to delete them, you can go and delete them from there. Now, another thing you can do is go ahead and click Manage Storage, which is right here. And it's going to take you for, to this panel. And here, it's going to tell you exactly what you can do or exactly what's taking up the most amount of storage. So you can see I have some backups. I have some voice memos and some other things. But the photos, again, is like the number one thing that's taking up the most amount of storage. So if you want to disable and delete, you can go and delete that specific photo you know, option there after you turn it off there. But also, you can go and click on backups. And you can go ahead and delete a backup if you don't need it anymore. I would recommend keeping your backup there just in case something happens. But if not, you can go ahead and delete the backup if you want. You know, it's no big deal. And at this point, you can just go on and so on and so forth. And it'll go ahead and start clearing up the storage up there too. So that is pretty much how to do it. That's how I do it pretty much every single time. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.